today's topic is sexual reproduction in plants. Sexual reproduction in plants takes place by fusion of the gametes. Fusion of the gametes known as the fertilization. Here in vegetative reproduction there is a without fertilization reproduction takes place. That is there is a no fusion of the gametes. Vegetative reproduction, a part of us already studied in Lila. Vegetative reproduction does not involve gametes and it takes place by vegetative parts. Vegetative parts like root, stem, leaves, and buds. But in this reproduction, gametes are involved. But actually, gametes kuthe tayabhita. In flower, flower is reproductive part of a plant. Flower is specialized reproductive part of a plant. Just vegetative reproduction, madhe apan zara chis khandi ke tli cut ke li laoli, tar te apas noving zhar taayar kote. And sexual reproduction madhe naturally phula che upan tar phala madhe hote. Ani phala cha as madhe bi taayar kote. Bi laoli anan tar noving zhar hote. Means here important thing is flower converted into the fruit. Here you should know the structure of a flower. Upon whole cat structure of flower study for here. Here structure of a flower. Typical flower shows typical flower shows different words. Here, it is categorized into two types of a words. Two types of a word. First type is accessory word. Accessory words means particular words which helps for the reproduction. Just helps for the reproduction. Accessory words corolla and calyx. Calyx are green color sepals. Calyx consist green color sepals. Corolla. Corolla consist the color petals. Then necessary words. Necessary words. Necessary most essential. Take part in the process of a reproduction. Gynosium and androsium are two necessary words. It is important part. Androsium it is male reproductive part and gynosium is female reproductive part. Androsium male reproductive part of a flower and gynosium is female reproductive part of a flower. And the flower is specialized reproductive part of a plant. Male gametes formation process takes place within androsium and female gamete formation process takes place within the gynosium. Structure of a typical flower helps for to understand sexual reproduction in plants. Sexual reproduction in plants include male female fertilization. Thus, the reproduction in plants consists of a Three stages. Yeah, first stage in sexual reproduction is pre fertilization process, second fertilization, and third post fertilization. First stage is pre fertilization process. Pre-fertilization process includes the two main development. Development of a male gametophyte and development of a female gametophyte. Development of a male gametophyte takes place in the male reproductive part of a plant, androsium. Androsium actual consists of a groups of a stem. Groups of a stamens. Each stamen, each stamen consists of a three parts. Anther connect 
few filaments. Each stamen consists three parts. And third, connective and filament. Filament, it is the stalk of a anther. Anther is bilobe structure in most of a stamens. Connective, the part which connects two anther lobes and anther to the filament. Connective is a part which connects two anther lobes and anther to filament. Here, the structure anther. Important part is the structure of a anther. The one structure of anther study career. Anther is bilobe or diticus. Di and di or bi means two lobe. Two lobe anther is present in a typical anther. Here two lobe anther that is two lobe. Don't bark. Each lobe consists of a two pollen sac or microsporangium. Therefore, in each anther, presence of a four pollen sac or microsporangium. Sporangium, spore containing region, spore containing sac known as a pollen sac. Polar means parathron. Jemma, structure of anther upon study karna raho. Jemma, detail study karna sakhi aplaya vadhu alage tears of a anther. Tears means transverse section. Transverse section of anther consists two main part. Anther wall and polar sac. Anther wall consists with four main layers. Anther wall consists epidermis, endothesium, middle layer, tap atom. First, epidermis. Epidermis is outermost layer of anther wall. Epidermis consists of flatten cells. Flatten tubular cells. And it is protective layer. Therefore, function of epidermis is protection to the inner parts of an anther wall. Then, second layer is endothesium. Endothesium is sub-epidermal layer. Sub-epidermal that is present below the epidermis. Here, endothesium present below the epidermis. Epidermis Cha, halcha, bagu. Second layer, endothesium. Endothesium consists of a fibrous thickening. Fibrous thickening has special characteristics. It's hygroscopic in nature. Hygroscopic means it has ability to hold the water. Therefore, the function of a endothesium is function of a endothesium. It helps for the dehiscence of an anther. Dehiscence of anther means anther put me antyamadu parakkan bahir padme. Then third layer is middle layer. Middle layer it is consists of one to two or maybe three to four layers of a flattened cells. Middle layer it is degenerate at maturity. Middle layer degenerate at maturity means कि जब वहाँ anther चिपुन्न पने वाड़ होते आन पोलन साइट में एक परापन पुन्न पने तैयार होता तब वहाँ हाँ middle layer तब इकाने break होतो अनि नांसा होतो that is degeneration of a middle layer then fourth layer of a anther wall is tap atom that atom consists of a nutritious cells. It is particular pyramid in shape. 
the pattern consists of a nutritious cells means tapetums help for the nutrition to the developing tetras or developing spores it helps for to provide nutrition to the pollen grains structure of the anther consists second part pollen sac or microsporangium in pollen sac pollen and microsporangium microspore means इन मराठी पराक्रम पराक्रम असलेले पोलन असलेले स्ट्रक्चरला पोलन सॅक म्हणतात पोलन ग्रेन प्लस मायक्रोस्कोर म्हणतात आणि मायक्रोस्कोर असलेल्या स्ट्रक्चरला टर्म काय आहे मायक्रोस्कोरेंजियम टोटल मायक्रोस्कोरेंजियम टिपिकल अँथरमध्ये फोर आढळतात पर्टिक्युलर ऑलरेडी आपण हा पार्ट सुरुवातीला बघितलेला आहे टेट्रा स्पॉरेंजिय अँथर मीन्स बाय लोब अँथर अँड ईच लोब कन्सिस्ट ऑफ अ टू पोलन सॅक दॅट इज टोटल फोर पोलन सॅक प्रेझेंट इन टिपिकल अँथर फोर पोलन सॅक कन्सिस्टिंग अँथर नोन ॲज अ टेट्रा स्पोरेंजिय अँथर पोलन सॅक कन्सिस्ट स्पोरोजिनस टिश्यू स्पोरोजिनस टिश्यूज स्पेसिफिक पॅरेंटॅमेटस टाईप्स ऑफ अ सेल्स अँड इच सेल ॲक्टिवेट अँड अंडरगोज मिओसिस टू फॉर्म दि मायक्रोस्पोर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ टेट्रा जर इथे फर्स्ट या लोकमध्ये ज्या सेल्स आहेत त्या स्पोरोजिनस सेल्स किंवा स्पोरोजिनस टिश्यू म्हणून ओळखल्या जातात नंतर डेव्हलपमेंट होऊन इथे डायग्राममध्ये दाखवल्याप्रमाणे पोलन ग्रेन टेट्राच्या स्वरूपात आढळतात तयार होतात टेट्राड मीन्स द ग्रुप ऑफ अ फोर पोलन ग्रेन टेट्राड मीन्स ग्रुप ऑफ अ फोर पोलन ग्रेन्स पर्टिक्युलर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ टेट्राड मायक्रोस्पोर्स फ्रॉम द स्पोरोजिनस टिश्यूज नोन ॲज अ मायक्रोस्पोरोजेनिस particular from sporogenous tissues formation of a microspores known as a microsporogenesis 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 means formation of microspores from microspore mother cell by meiosis microspore mother cells particular sporogenous cell acts as a microspore mother